Reality check man from your device, you know, you know it's a unique one, aromatic realistic TV. Well, anyway, my viewers and subscribers, I see video is going around once more with Everal Warmington. And I really don't surprise of this man behavior. Because remember, you know, it was the same Everal Warmington, you know. The young man went to his house, you know. It's alleged. The young man said him went to him house. And when he went to him house to prepare a speech for him, the man will him hostage in his house and want to have sex with him. Yeah, man. Aromatic, you know. Realistic, you know. Protege, you know. What you say? He's out. YouTube channel. Go check it out. See? Let's go. Yeah. And when he refused to do so, the man take out in private and play with it, play with it, play with it until he reach at the promised land. And when he reach at the promised land, the man shoot off for Andre Stevenson foot. This is the same Warmington, you know, who ejaculate on Andre Stevenson foot. So this kind of behavior, I am not surprised. But anyway, my viewers and subscribers, we are going to play the tape. And after we play the tape, then we will do what? Dissect it. <laughs> you say, now nah, nah, we're not going to get water. I'm going to try to fuck with it. We've got constant control water. It's about. Yeah. And the minister. Sure. Who is the same minister and the prime minister? We've been here. Yeah. He can only come through me and Macho Samuda. And we are working on that ship right now. So make some asshole tell you nonsense. So you hear what he just said? Water can only come through him and Matthew Samuda. And when I go on and say, some asshole only the chat every. If my memory can prove me right, this man, his favorite place is the asshole. How do you know that? Andre Stevenson said this man hold him hostage in his house and try to have sex with him. So for you to just come now and use the word asshole so loosely, knowing that it is your favorite place, I think you would have some respect for it. <laughs> Anyway, continues. Next, next man that talk about Maggie Water, I'm going to piss my leg, you. That's the only way that they are fool. Thank you, Water. Who's not controlled, Water? You know what I'm going to piss in your line? I'm going to piss my nose and give you. I'm going to piss my Maggie Water. It's bigger than us. And we are working on the life and systems. And it will be done. It will be done. But I think I should say because a lot of you. Hmm? Oh, him go go no water. Is he going to piss in at the pipeline or piss in at the hose and go no water? You hear how the man is, is talking to the citizen? Hmm? If the, 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 the councillor or whosoever is going to piss in the pipeline or piss in their hose, and giving them water. But I'm not surprised when he used these words so carelessly. Because remember, you know, Warmington is Jamaica or Kelly. He loved to piss on people. In other words, give them golden shower. It's not my word. I was not there. It is the young man who is stick up in a house, hold him hostage and demand sex and when he did not get the sex because the young man decided that he did not went there for that he went there to prepare a speech for you but in the middle of the game you are trying to court it it's not going to happen to humiliate the young man the same man warming can take out in dick play with it play with it play with it play with it jerk like him a jerk chicken jerk like him a jerk chicken 
And when he reached to the promised land, he just take out and pitch up Andre Stevenson foot. So I am not surprised the way oh, he, he used these words carelessly, without respect or regards. But anyway, Jamaica, let us go into the story. Who is Everett Warmington? And to my knowledge, he has represented the St. Catherine South Western constituents for 22 years. He first was elected, I think, in 2002. And he is still there right now. So if you do the maths, he's serving these people for 22 years. It does not stop there. He is a minister without portfolio in the Ministry of Economics, Growth and Job Creation with the responsibility for works. So he is not just a MP. He is a minister. So one would have to ask, why is the minister choose to use these words? Why? That's the question we need to ask as Jamaica. Why is this man feel that at any time he can just come out and can use words without consequence? Knowing that Jamaica, this man is our employee. He is our employee. We, the taxpayers of Jamaica, pay this man. So why is this man so emboldened to stand in front of his employer and use words like those? And the sad thing about it, after he used those kind of words, swearing and, you know, just outrageous, vulgar, you know, rude behavior, the people there were laughing. The few people that was there, Jamaica, they were laughing. So you have to ask yourself, is this amusing? The question to hear the, 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 the way or the man the behave right there and people was there laughing and cheering now you have to take it down a notch and ask yourself if this is amusing but the thing about it in a jamaica you see when you are dance slow stupid people knows and they know that they can treat you anyway. Because there is no one there to hold them accountable. Because you just don't know. What in what this man was saying is funny or entertaining. The word he chose to display at this little gathering. Is that funny or entertaining for people to cheer in and laugh in? Why, when you're done, a hell of a sitting. And me tell every man, say, all when you know, have the money, brother, send your picnic along at school. Make him beg him friend them. Lunch. Or break. But no, make him turn a yard. Send him galang. Because when you're dunce and slow and stupid, it's a hell of a thing. Because if a man can stand up and style uno so because I uno even chat with because we are all Jamaican. And you are there laughing. It amuses you. You find it funny and entertaining to cheering on such disrespectful behavior like this 
Me say all when you don't have the money, man, send them galang at school, man. All when they don't have no shoes, send them galang barefoot, man. All when they have to wear the same dirty shirt one week, send them galang, man. Because it is very important, man. You make your picnic get education. Because when you are educating, sitting like this, couldn't they utter this kind of word out of mouth and people did the applause. And that's the sad part. You know? The sad part of it, you know, is the people who are there cheering him on. That is the sad part of it. The words that he chose to display at this small gathering. And the people who were in attendance were cheering him on, laughing. Like it is funny. It's entertaining. Think about it, Jamaica. Think about it. And then you are calling people household. The minister you know, is calling people household. I don't remember say ah so I'm favorite place. When you love something, you're not know, disrespecting big man. You're a lover of our soul, so why are you disrespecting our soul in the public and calling people our soul? You cherish things that you love, man. You don't just use words so carelessly. Hmm? You're going to call people our soul. When the man himself is a lover of her soul. It's not my word. It's Andre Stevenson. The young man said when he went to your yard to prepare a speech. You change the rule in the middle of the game. And want to exercise your manhood. You want to exercise your manhood. You understand? In his wherever hole, and he wasn't a part of it. And your mother said, Boy, I can't come on my yard and, and, and walk and wall out for me. So you take out your thing and you work it and you work it. You work it and you work it until you please yourself. And when you almost read to the promised land now, you come so boop and bust off from boy foot. That's what you did. So when you display this kind of behavior, I don't think you're surprised, bro. I don't think you're surprised. Because you don't have no integrity. There's no quality. There's no decency in you. So why should I surprise when you do things like this? Eh? Swearing words. Swearing words, you know, the minister, you know, eh? telling people um, the only way they are going to get water is less than them, them, them pissing at the line or pissing at the hose and give them water. You don't have to remind us about pissing because we know that you love to piss on people. We know that you love to piss on people, Warmington, Jamaica, and R. Kelly. Jamaica and R. Kelly, Warmington. We know that you love to piss on people. You love to give golden shower. If you think I'm like, go and check back on Andre Stevenson tape. And you will see, if not this same man in talk to say, in Guayman Yard, you go write a speech for him. And when in Guayman Yard, the man change. And say something else he want. And the youth say never hope for it. It didn't go happen. And he said, boy, you can't come in my house like this. So I'm going to humiliate you before you left out here. So him take out him jack. Take out him jack and him jack it up. Jack it up, jack it up, jack it up. And when he reached to the promised land, he just bust off on him foot. Not my words. Andre Stevenson's words. So when I see it, you know, a piece of shit like this, Behaving this way. I'm not surprised. Because we know who the man is already. We know who he are. So why are you surprised? No, we are not surprised. We are not surprised, Jamaica. You understand? But it's a disgrace. 
to the people of St. Catherine South, Western constituency, who this man served for 22 years. He's also a minister without portfolio in the Ministry of Economics, Growth, and Job Creation with the responsibility for works. He has a portfolio. He's a minister for God's sake. And look how this man is behaving. Am I surprised? No! I am not. You know what will surprise me? If when we go to the polls, they still have the majority. That will surprise me. After all, these people are doing to us. The disrespect. What would surprise me is when we go to the poll and them still have the majority. That would have surprised me. But nothing else can surprise me from this administration. No way, no time. No, bro. No, bro. Swearing in it. The minister is swearing in it. This man is respecter of nobody. He thinks that he's bigger than God. Do we owe this man behave? Calling people also. Swearing. <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? Just think about it, Jamaica. The only solution to our problem is to make sure we get rid of the Andrew Owens administration. I'm looking center in my camera and I'm appealing to all Jamaican citizens who is going through this tough time. The dictatorship of the Andrew Owens led administration, the victimization, the brutality, the poverty, the prosperity. When I promise we all know we can't come. The wind and door when promise when go make we sleep with whooping, all know we can't come. The growth and development, all know we can't come. The only prosperity what we see are them the thief from taxpayers and enrich themselves. We can't see no prosperity. We can't see no growth. We can't see no development. So I am talking to you now who is feeling it, who is going through the struggle like everyone else. You ball for a change because you say you want a change because you want to experience the next government. No, you experience the next government and you have this experience. So nobody not have to talk to you. You know what you feel. And the only thing what you can do is go into the polling booth and make an X beside the head. Don't deal to get rid of this. The only choice now is PMP or GLP. I mean, I tell nobody if you vote for GLP. I would never do that. So I say, go right there, so now and put your ex beside the head. Plain and straight, right there, so there. Without no apology. Right there, so there. Pulling board, ex beside the head. You can't live without your head. You can't live without your head. Remember that. The brain in your head. People ball for changes. So they never witness and never government yet. So they want to see what the next government can offer. And they make the, 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 the foolish mistake. And give this man the mandate. And all the dog them know in a Jamaica here said they run away. All the dog them now in a Jamaica come here to the road. Come and fall, gone a bush, gone live now. Come and fall, gone a bush, gone live. Everything they migrate and they run. All the dog and the fall. Them left people here and they run. Because no food no did they feed them again. After your promise, prosperity. The prosperity was your promise. It reverse back into poverty. You understand? So this kind of behavior is not strange. But the Jamaica Labour Party and a whole 
They believe that when they are in power, they can do anything. That's the way all they behave. So my viewers and subscribers, oh man in the diaspora, bro, the only thing that we can do is make sure we pass the message on to our family, loved one and friends, even with enemy in this time, in this pivotal moment where Jamaica can go over a cliff, even your enemy you have to make it right with because you have to lead your enemy to the pole. If me have to go on my enemy yard, go sit down and wait for me. Me go sit down and wait for my enemy. And the two of me walk go to the pole. And cast with hex beside the head. Because that's the only way. Jamaica is going to come back to normality. Anyway, my people. Stay tuned to Aromatic Realistic. Like and share and follow the movements over YouTube. Remember to touch the notification bell. So each time I release a video, you should be the first to know. And remember what I'm telling you. Sir. When you see that video, you no keep it to yourself. No one no secret for me. Me a old fridge, me can't keep nothing. So you let it out. We tell them say God and good road. We tell them say united we stand or divided we all gonna fall. In this fight for the resurrection of Jamaica, for the liberation of Jamaica, we have to stand united as one united force to save Jamaica. Move away dieting. Jamaica need to be rescued. And it need to be rescued ASAP, ASAP, right now. And the responsibility is on us. The responsibility is on us. Be well, my people. Be well. The signature word. The signature word. Art of love. Art of love. Art of love. Peace, my people.